light of the new DLC expansion coming out for Don't Starve, I decided to uh, post what I've created so far. Um, this is day 1055 and uh, this is a quick tour of the village I've created. Um, and yes, before you ask, there are some mods at work here. So I've got uh, pig houses and rabbit hutches scattered throughout to create somewhat of a population in the village. Um, you'll also see drying racks here and there. Dried meat is definitely the way to go. Um, raw meat is going to hurt your sanity so I find myself always in need of drying racks and we got a bunch of shit here from the pigs so let's pick this stuff and burn it. Um, up there you can see my bee boxes, uh, that's where I harvest my honey. And moving our way over this way, this is pretty much the edge of the village over here, the eastern edge. And we've uh, placed a pig king here. Often I'll burn shit in this uh, bit here. Now, over this way I've created an enclosure for a beefalo. There's not much you can harvest from them. It's more of a uh, just an extra structure I wanted to create. However, if you ever need some meat or some wool um, for carpets, you can butcher these guys. This is a mod here, the opening and closing gates. The game does not come with that, but you can get a mod to open it. Oh shit, I got a turkey stuck in there now. Where the fuck did he come from? I'll have to kill his ass later. Right here is kind of uh, where I set up defenses. It's also where I uh, kill the hounds once they come around every uh, 20, 30 days or whatever. They'll come around and I uh, always lure them over here because I've got these gun turrets that'll take care of them pretty easily. Also, I've got uh, uh, those amphibian weird fishmen that often wander up this way, so I like those uh, turrets to take them out. So here we are again. Uh, we'll make one more little loop around the village. This is kind of where we started off. And you see we got farms scattered above. We've got improved farms here and there. Um, but I've also got regular farms, uh, six of them down at the beginning. I probably saw that. Let's grab some more uh, jerky here. And uh, just for the hell of it, I've given all the pigs that live in the village helmets. Um, this will increase their armor if the village ever gets invaded. So here's the main event. Uh, this is the castle I've created. Um, again, we're on day 1055, so uh, you can't build something like this overnight, I'll tell you that. Right here is the main room where I do most of my work here. Um, this is where I spend most of the winter too because it's easy to keep this area warm. I do most of my cooking here as well. Let's uh, fire up something here, some chicken nuggets I think. Alright, and up here is uh, where I'm keeping all my items. Uh, these are the chests. Most of them are full. I think I've got eight empty chests right now for uh, DLC. New items that will be um, coming my way. Uh, yeah, I think there's eight of them empty. But pretty much every item in the game that I've found so far in the caves or in the ruins I think I've got a stack of. Alright, I'm going to do one circle around my castle here. Again, there was mods used um, to drop in the statues, things like that. Now the game um, did spawn Maxwell's door naturally, um, that's one of the reasons I chose this spot for the home base. Here's the door right here, kind of built in around it. There's a lot of wormholes in this area, that's another reason I chose the base. Uh, for new DLC. 
all see. So down here is kind of where I'm leaving empty space for right here. Or whatever uh, we might need in the future. So there, uh, I'll pan out here. This is a look at the castle that I've created in Don't Starve. got Reign of the Giants coming out soon. I don't know really what to expect for that. Um, they've got a video, but it's literally just text that says, Reign of Giants coming soon. That's it. Like, fucking nothing. So I have no idea what to expect. 